Hello, I am Sujoy and today I will tell you three things. Number one, how to recover a Cisco access point from AP colon prompt. Number two, how to convert a lightweight access point into an autonomous access point. And number three, how to run DSCP server on an access point to use it as an internet access point where the users will connect to the AP wirelessly and will be able to access the internet. I will tell you all the commands you will require and some error problems you can face during the process and how to troubleshoot those problems all these in a single video so let's start so here are the commands you will need for the activity this is the scenario the user accidentally deleted the ios file from the ap and restarted it after reboot the ap could not find a valid ios file and went into ap colon prompt which is similar to switch colon prompt on switches and rom on mode of routers so how to recover it also, the user configured lots of duplicate commands on the AP like duplicate IP address and duplicate subnet mask etc. Also, the user configured the TFTP file command with the wrong IS file. Remember, if you set the TFTP file command and this IS file if it is not located on the TFTP server, then you will get an error like tftp connection timeout you can also get this timeout of error for some other reasons like number one all the is file and the tftp d32 software must be in the same folder number two right click on the tftp d32 software and choose run as administrator if you don't do it you can get the timeout error number three Thus, after the TFTP server is running using administrator mode, the server interface IP must be same which you configured here as a default router. So here I have configured default router 182.168.1.7. So here the server address should be 182.168.1.7 also and minimize the application. So for this activity, you need to give these three commands. Set IP underscore ADDR, IP address 192.168.1.6. You can give any IP address you want. This is the IP address given to the access point. Set netmask 255.255.255.0. This is subnet mask. You can give any subnet mask you want. Set default underscore router 192.168.1.7. This default router address is the address of the your local router for accessing a TFTP server located remotely. But since I have connected the access point to my laptop back to back using a straight ethernet cable, I have connected one end of the ethernet cable to the ethernet port of the access point and other end to the ethernet port of my laptop. So I will use the address 1.7 which is my laptop's IP address. Also I am running the TFTP server software on my laptop. So my laptop will work as a TFTP server also. I have powered up the AP using a power adapter, but you can power it up using a Cisco PoE switch. PoE means power over ethernet switch. It's a special Cisco switch where the AP will get both the power and the data from the ethernet port of the switch. You don't need to use a separate power adapter for that. But remember for this activity, uh, your laptop and your AP must be connected to the switch and both the ports of the switch for the AP and laptop must be in the same VLAN and there should not be any DSCP server running on the network because the AP can get the IP address from the DSCP server and can neglect this IP address you are assigning. In that case, the process will fail. So if you are using a PoE switch, uh, remember to remove the uplink cable from the switch to do the activity offline. Okay. So since I am not using a PoE switch, I don't need to worry about that. So since user configured lots of duplicate IP address and subnet mask, I need to first unset the duplicate variables. I will use command unset and the variable name unset IP underscore address to remove duplicate IP address. Similarly, duplicate subnet mask, TFTP file and TFTP server. After that, give three commands, TFTP underscore init, ether underscore init and flash underscore init. Then 
tar minus extract space tftp colon from double slash ip address of the tftp server here ip address of my laptop front slash is file name including dot tar extension space flash colon this will download and extract the is file from the tftp server after the extraction process is complete ap will again come back to ap colon prompt give command dir space flash colon to see the is file is copied to the flash memory then set boot in capital space flash colon front slash is file name including dot tar extension to set the boot path then give boot command this will restart the ap after reboot ap will come to ap greater than prompt that is normal operation mode give command en or enable it will ask for enable password the default password is cisco where c is in capital press enter and you will come to ap hatch prompt that is privilege mode of access point so i have successfully recovered the ap from ap colon prompt now there are two similar looking is file first one is k9 w7 second is k9 w8 if i load the k9 w7 image the ap will run at autonomous mode and if i run the k9 w8 image the ap will run at lightweight mode so since i wanted to convert it to autonomous ap so i use the k9 w7 ios the k9 w7 ios now running the dhcp server from ap hatch prompt give command conf space t on config space t press enter you will come to global configuration mode that is ap config hatch prompt ip space dhcp space pool space pool name here name is test network space network address 192.168.1.0 space subnet mask for network 255.255.255.0 the subnet mask value is 255.255.255.0 that means 254 users can connect to the network but i can control the number of users can connect by changing the subnet mask value if i use subnet mask 255.255.255.224 then the number of users will reduce to 30 users since 224 is slash 27 to know more about it please watch my video on vlsm that is variable length subnet mask link is in the video description below from global config ip space dhcp excluded address 192.168.1.1 By this command, I am excluding the IP address 1.1 from the DHCP pool. Next, IP default gateway 192.168.1.1. This is the IP address of my router. Remember, if you don't set the default gateway, you will not be able to access the AP remotely from outside network. Also, all your outside traffic will not go to the remote network. Next, setting host name, host name space. internet underscore ap you can give any name the host name is changed after that next interface dot one one radio space zero no shutdown this will turn on the dot one one radio zero interface management commands from global config line bty zero space fifteen password cisco login so by this command i i can access the ap via telnet remotely but i need to set the ip address from global config int bbi1 ip address 1161.2 subnet mask 255.255.255.0 no shutdown bbi stand for bridge virtual interface it is similar to interface vlan1 on cisco switches where you can assign the ip address no ip domain lookup for stopping domain lookup for wrongly given commands enable password cisco now let's ping the laptop from ap ping 192.168.1.7 and ping is successful success at 100% now let's enable the another dot 11 radio interface interface dot 11 radio 1 no shutdown this will turn on the dot 11 radio 1 
there are two wireless radios on this Cisco AP Cisco 702 model. First one dot one one radio zero, second dot one one radio one. Do you know you can keep the two radios in two separate VLAN for separating your traffic. For example, you can keep radio zero on one VLAN for all your internet traffic going via uh, radio zero via one VLAN and your internet traffic that is your local user traffic via uh, dot one radio one via a different VLAN. So that will separate both the traffic for security and management purposes. It is very cool. Now four commands from global config dot one one SSID internet. You can give any name you want. Next guest mode authentication open and infrastructure hyphen SSID. After all the four commands are given, the AP will start broadcasting the SSID internet, which you can check from your mobile devices or your laptops Wi-Fi. So you can see from my laptop Wi-Fi, you can see the network internet and this small yellow symbol means it is an open network since authentication is open, no password is given. I have connected to the AP via Wi-Fi. I will give command show dot one one associations. It will show me the MAC address of the device connected and the IP address 192.168.1.3 assigned via DHCP server and so on. So that's it for now. How was the video? Let me know in the comments below. If you like the video, please like and share it. So thanks for watching. See you in my next video. And still then, stay connected by subscribing.